If you're expecting the Piranha Plant from Super Mario to be on this list, it's not real. <laughs> I checked. So the world can be a very dangerous place for humans. There are many things that are deadly to us, but of course this isn't news. I mean, no one's about to go stroll into a lion's den anytime soon. But oftentimes, the things that are most dangerous are the things that we don't know about or don't perceive to be dangerous. For example, plants. Well, as it turns out, the earth is filled with many types of plants that are deadly, some of which might be in your backyard right now. Seriously. So this week, I gathered the most lethal plants on Earth to share with you all. So here they are, the 10 most deadly plants on Earth. Number one is doll's eyes. Actea pacapota, more commonly known as doll's eyes or white baneberry, is native to the northern and eastern parts of North America and is not only creepy looking but quite deadly. Although the whole plant is toxic to humans, the berries, which look like little eyeballs, are the most poisonous part. The concentrated toxins in the fruit have unfortunately killed many children as they not only appear fun to eat but have a sweet taste. Once ingested, the carcinogenic toxins in the fruit have an almost immediate effect sedating the muscles of the heart, causing cardiac arrest and a quick death. They ripen in the summer and disappear in the winter. So remember, if you see these in the summer, stay away. And if you see them in the winter, they may be real doll's eyes, which means there may be a deranged individual in the area and you should leave immediately. Number two is water hemlock. Secuta, also known as water hemlock, is native to the temperate regions of the Northern Hemisphere and is the most violently toxic plant in North America. It's also one of the most famous poisonous plants in history, being responsible for the death of the philosopher Socrates around 400 BC. They contain a toxin called Cicutoxin, which causes a whole host of nasty effects on the body, most notably death, usually by respiratory failure or cardiac arrest, and can occur within hours of ingestion. This one is especially terrifying simply because of how innocent it looks. Then again, you have nothing to worry about as long as you don't go around eating random white flowers that you find. If you're hungry, bring a protein bar, man. The hell's wrong with you? Number three is Wolfsbane. Aconitum, more commonly known as Wolfsbane or Monk's Hood, is native to the mountainous regions of Northern Europe and Asia and actually belongs to the Buttercup family. How lovely. These vibrant purple plants are commonly found in backyard gardens and are loaded with a poisonous alkaloid called aconite, which causes death by asphyxiation within two to six hours of entering the body. Its history is well documented, being used on the tips of arrows by hunters, and has been mentioned in literature by Shakespeare and even in Harry Potter as a potion once brewed by Professor Snape. It's also known in mythology to be able to either repel a werewolf or induce a werewolf state. And I know the mythology part sounds fun, but seriously, don't touch this stuff. Unless you're confronted by an actual werewolf, in which case start yanking plants. Number four is the rosary pea. Abrus precatorius, also known as the rosary pea or crab's eye, is native to Indonesia and is named after its bright red seeds which resemble the beads of a rosary. Abrin, the poison contained within the seeds, is unbelievably deadly. In fact, it's similar to the poison ricin, but is 75 times stronger. What's curious is that if swallowed whole, the seeds are relatively safe as they will pass through the body protecting by their tough coating. However, many jewelry makers have died pricking a finger while drilling into the seeds as they are used in jewelry around the world. Really though, is it worth the risk? There's like, what, 50 beads on a rosary and you're going to get, say, 10 bucks for it? These people are the reason that warning labels were invented. Number five is Belladonna. Atropa Belladonna, simply known as Belladonna or Deadly Nightshade, is native to Northern Africa, Europe, and Western Asia, and is one of the world's most poisonous plants. It contains tropane alkaloids, which, if ingested, causes too many horrible effects to list, but most importantly, can kill an adult with just 15 berries or a single leaf. Interestingly, the effects of the plant are not instant and can take hours or even days to kick in. It was called Belladonna Donna, meaning beautiful woman in Italian because the berry's juice was used by women in the 1500s to dilate their pupils, making them appear more seductive. But hey, that's cool. I mean, personally, I like it when a girl doesn't look like she's on a myriad of narcotics, but, you know, to each their own. Number six is the castor plant. Ricinus communis, simply known as the castor plant, is native to Eastern Africa and India, but is widely cultivated as an ornament plant. In fact, it could very well be in your own backyard right now. Castor plants can be purchased 
purchased at just about any garden center, despite their beans containing the deadly poison ricin. In 2007, it was named the most poisonous plant in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records. The ingestion of four to eight seeds will kill a human in two days, which is long, agonizing, and unstoppable. Surprisingly though, research shows that it takes seven to kill a pig, 11 to kill a dog, and a whopping 80 to kill a duck. Which raises the important question, who's feeding rice into animals to get this data? Why well, you gotta kill the pig dog duck? Number seven is oleander. Nerium oleander, simply known as oleander, is native to the Mediterranean and Asia and is one of the most dangerous plants on this list, despite how widely it's cultivated. Commonly used as decoration in homes and even schoolyards, it's an especially dangerous plant because of its attractiveness. Ingesting any part of this plant is enough to kill you as it contains chemicals known as cardiac glycosides, which will stop your heart. Even inhaling the smoke from burning it is enough to be fatal. In some parts, of the world, it's known as the ass killer because of the effects it has on the digestive tract before you die, which I will not explain in further detail because... You know, some things are just better left to the imagination. Number eight is the stinging bush. Dendrosnide morodes, more commonly known as the stinging bush, is native to the forests of Australia and Indonesia. It's the most deadly and potent stinging nettle in the world, known for being covered in tiny hairs that deliver a toxin called moroidin. Even lightly brushing any part of this plant will cause excruciating stinging that will last for days or even months. So if you enjoy the pleasures of nettles, you're going to want to stay away from these ones, Milford. Cubicle. Number nine is white snake root. Agaritina altissima, better known as white snake root, is commonly found in North America and is unique because unlike the other plants on this list, it doesn't kill humans directly but indirectly. The plant is often eaten by cattle and contains a toxin called tremetol which gets absorbed into their bodies. When humans eat their meat or drink their milk, it causes something called milk sickness which is fatal. In fact, it's widely believed that in 1818, Nancy Hanks Lincoln, mother of Abraham Lincoln, died from milk sickness. That's an unfortunate risk, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it's one I'm willing to take. I loves me a good steak. And number 10, the manchineel tree. Hippomane manchinella, more commonly known as the manchineel tree, is commonly found in warm climates like Florida, the Bahamas, and the Caribbean. There are actually two ways this tree can kill you. One is by standing under it during a rainstorm, as the raindrops will pick up the many toxins found in the tree's milky sap. The second is by eating the tree's deceptively sweet crab apple-like fruit, known as the little apple of death. So if you're ever traveling to any of these destinations and you see what looks like a tasty apple tree, avoid having a little snack or even going near it because that could be the last vacation you ever take. And that's it for this time, guys. Before I let you go, I just wanted to let you know that I have a Vine account. Whenever I get an idea for a video that can't go on my channel or can't be turned into a longer video, I turn it into a six second video and post it to my Vine account. So if you wanna see my goofy six second mind turds, add me to Vine. My username is Matthew Santoro. There will be a link in the description of this video. As per usual, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on Facebook and Twitter and give that like button a click and I will see you all back here next Saturday with a brand new video. Peace. Thanks for watching my new video. If you enjoyed it and would like to subscribe to my channel, just click that big red subscribe button and don't forget to add me to Vine, username Matthew Santoro. Here's an example of what you'll see. Oh, hey girl, you know what the difference between a boner and a cheeseburger is? You ain't giving me a cheeseburger right now. How a real man makes his house smell nice. Ooh, frosted cupcake, macaroon, ooh. That looks pretty good, I'm gonna take a selfie. I give up. Love going up on a Tuesday. Got your girl in the clutch, she true. As you can see, nothing but intelligent stuff on there. Anyways, enjoy, and I will see you all back here next weekend. Bye.